Alright guys, King David K, King K, David K, Multi David 94 is back with another episode of the full playthrough of this collision on the final cut. So without further ado, let me change the camera real quick, if it, this works, and let's investigate on the case. Lot game, let's go. We were waking up badly, and uh, we had a weird dream, but yeah, maybe today is better, and I will not take speed. And uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Is my expression a little bit different? Maybe, I don't know. Let's go. I don't know where it's gonna be my my friend. I hope it's not already down. Because I want to go check out the something else. And the something else is... I want to... You know what? Let's try here. Let's try here. The door is closed. Try the handle. This door can only be open. Knock again. But still nothing. You should punch a fucking hole in it. No, no. The murmur in your ear. I don't have to punch a fucking hole in it. Hell no. We don't. We will not do that. Because you know, you never know what is gonna happen. Maybe I hurt my hands, and I don't want that. So. Okay, my friend is here. But can I go without him for a second? Oh my god. Good morning to you. Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union mess have turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Hmm. Oh, the union. Perfect. Why do we need to talk to them? We need to talk to them. Yeah, Everything let's see. points to the dock workers' union. The belt used for hanging him, tracked in the mud. The mm, that's important. In Martinez, Absolutely. Preliminary information, which may, of course, all be wrong, but we still need to talk to them, and it won't be easy. What do you mean, Rowdy? I mean ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. These men here, men okay. who drink beer for breakfast. There's talk of an armed wing of the Union called the Hardy Boys, hmm. who are responsible for state policing. I think it's them. Okay, so Hardy is uh, the man guard told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud Ooh. and nasty, just like the manager said. Even you had problems sleeping, huh? Hmm. One new thread less to worry about. And one big problem to replace it. New skill point. But this time, I want to do something else with my skill point. You know what? Let's do this. Let's internalize this. Yeah, let's try. Let's change the way we do things. Internalize. So we can... Try with this. And we unlock something, maybe. We have minus two empathy. That's really bad. But I guess this will help. And so what now? Minus one. What, where is minus one? Authority. Whoa. I have minus one authority. This is shit. But yeah. I guess. Let me see. Maybe I can. Yeah. After. So. There are so many of them. Maybe we should call reinforcements. That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. Fact. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? Okay. He's not exaggerating about that mortal danger. Just calmly factoring it in. Hmm. Your fists clench and your pulse rises uncomfortably. Let's One roll. Before we do, we don't have. They see me rolling. We can walk. They hate it. Continue with our business. Okay. Yeah, streetwise. Zoom right past. Do it on your own terms. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? Absolutely, but first I want to do something. I want to go to the car and uh, check out about the, the number we found on the armor of the dead body. 
because that can give us information helpful for asking them. Okay, so yeah. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. And, okay, thank you. Perfect, perfect if you say. Oh, she's here, so now she may say something. Let me see. Just a moment. The old man, the old woman turns back to the cafeteria manager. What? She's agitated, judging mm. from the way she keeps pulling at the frayed edge of her blanket. What happened? And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Oh. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. The cafeteria manager appears the only apologetic. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. She turns back to you. I'm with glad to see you again, dear. Okay. Good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Well, maybe we can help the lady. She gave us the monkey pen, and it, that was helpful. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead, too. Wait, what's wrong with the phone line? The manager was vague about it. Hmm. This fucking manager. That's Why would he manager. be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. Ask God, maybe. Absolutely. Why do you need to use the phone to anyway? Let the young woman who's house sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. But they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. Hmm. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Hmm. A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. Okay, I'll buy it. Has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always mm. plans his expeditions so carefully. I don't like this. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of reeds. Something sweet in it, somnolent. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. Mm. But you have more important things to worry about. Absolutely, but I want to help you, girl. What is this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. Venomous, maybe? But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? The well, I don't know. That was broken. Could this be it? Oh, the warlock, yeah. Wow. Wait, who's the Gary's person? Do you trust him? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing like that. Okay. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. The waterlock to the other side of the side of the coast is broken. They're probably just stuck over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Probably just some technical problem. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. All right. You're welcome, man. Absolutely. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. Absolutely. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yeah. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. Funk up that vanilla murder. And if world. you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. By the way, see, game? I'm doing good. My Even without a speed brain. So if I see him, I let him know. Accept task for oh, you're sure. Such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Don't worry. Thank you for your pen. So your album is is some kind of scientist. Oh yes, a zoologist. 
a cryptozoologist to be more precise. He can be helpful for the investigation, maybe. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. Hmm. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. Hmm. She's used to playing off such insults casually, but they still affect her. Hmm. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. Hmm. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Okay. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do hmm. it. Well, someone do it. these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. That's something bad, by the way. As real research is important, I guess. The quality of research at Revachonian universities has been on the decline. But you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology so, was embraced by the academic elite. Let me see what I get. Find Morel, the cryptozoologist. Okay, look at Monday. Look at how many things we did already. So, the aging cryptozoologist has been out in the reeds for too long, and his wife, Lena, is very worried. Maybe you can find him when you happen to be on the coast. You told Lena Morel is missing because of the broken water lock. She is still worried he has come back. Let Morel know if you see him. Absolutely. So tell me more about Morel. Looks character your your relationship. Oh dear. I'm not sure where to begin. What does your husband look like? Hmm. Well, Fat. his expression is slightly grumpy. Okay. But his eyes are always bright and curious, like a okay. small voice. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. Okay, I hope we can recognize him, but not by these details, I guess. You can't go around forever short feeling grown men's hands. Hmm. If you want to find her husband, you'll need That's more true. concrete information. Let's try again. Why don't you try describing him as a, as you would on uh, one of your cryptids? Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame. And he has longish white hair, usually hmm. a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. Okay. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, hmm. even if he's not out in the reeds, you know, just in case. How long have you been married? We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary Ooh. this autumn. Okay, 16th. Not okay. the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but mm. I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. Hmm. Well, how did the two of you meet? By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. Mm. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident. And he just divorced. Hmm. We hit it off, and well, here we are. Oh. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. Maybe. I think I have all the information I need. Let's move on. I hope I've been useful. Yeah. Tell me more about the re this rare insect your husband is looking for. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. Okay. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. No, I want to hear about the insect. You're right, I don't have time for insect facts right now. Let's talk about something else. No, I want to hear about the insect. Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... But? Ah, oh, yes. Phasmatodia. Hmm. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, hmm. that sort of thing. Ghost okay. insects, colloquially. I understand. Oh, yeah. Here comes the interesting. So? Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this hmm. one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insul Indian coast. Whoa. Hence its name, the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the phasmid with us officers. Hmm. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciated the creature's name. Okay. I knew it. 
We're gonna be chasing made up insects with cryptozoologists. Huh, you know it, huh? It's not made up, officer. I can assure you. Okay. It's simply elusive. So much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. Okay. So what makes you think uh, the plasmid is around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. So a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have? Of course, most plasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian plasmid perfectly. And they didn't even know what they were looking at. Hey. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. Hmm. You seem really excited about this cryptid. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insul Indian plasmid. Hmm. All scientists have their little hobby horses. Okay. So, is it dangerous? <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Hmm. Does it have cool powers? Yes. It can blend yes. in almost perfectly among the reeds. Hmm. It's how it stayed hidden all these years. Centuries, even. Hmm. Okay, what's so special about this stick bug then? Oh dear. I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. Okay. The woman face flushes with embarrassment. What? Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then okay. you'd understand, I'm sure. Let's try. You're an enthusiastic what? idiot. But you're still an idiot. Okay, I want to know everything about cryptids, lying cryptids, extinct cryptids, marine cryptids, land cryptids, bring it up! We don't have time for Cryptozoology 101. Let's get back to work, shall we? Alright, that's all for now, ma'am. Oh, there's my friend always, that's a good thing. Let me see, do I have this, this, yeah, that's still close. Oh, that's new, and who is this guy too? Is this some union guy? Oh... I don't like the, the look of this guy. I don't know. I know it's not a union guy. Let me see what is it. The tomatoes are so thinly sliced you can see through them. This is a worker, I guess. But you know what? Let's. Whoa! Is this new? Photos of the man in overalls, thing guns, and union pl placards. So these are the union thugs or guys or whatever they call. You know what? Oh, now I can talk to... Now she's in here. Ooh. And this is what it, what it is. It's a bowl. They're spitting it. Wrecking of tobacco. Okay. We're gonna check this out later. Now let's go out. Because I want to do something else before. We want to take more information about unions possible. Then we're gonna investigate on them. We more information, okay? About the dead body and everything. Love that song. So. Oh. What is this? There's something here? In the morning light, the hmm. white on blue police livery on the motor carriage cannot but catch your eye. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? What's it supposed to... Do something important? Yes. Something murder related? Yes. There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. In fact... This is a Caprice Kanema. The Caprice Motor Corps follow-up to their highly successful workhorse, Caprice 40. Didn't and I know this already? racing breed, fur. Serious. Well, not everything, but I know that the radio was a Caprice Canima. Come on. With its air-cooled, rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine, driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox, the Canema mm. is able to reach 100 kilometers per hour in wow. 13.5 well, seconds and not going to a top speed of 180 kilometers an hmm, hour. Not the fastest car ever, but pretty fast. 
Won't it roll over in the first sharp corner? The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, hmm. feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kanema effectively a mobile power plant. Wow, this tech talk is really rubbing me right away here. Due to a quite steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police livery. Hmm, that machine really puts the loco back in locomotion. Point to the vehicle. Very cool. I don't like your machine, Lieutenant. It looks impatriotical. What? This is cool. Mm -hmm. You want to take a closer look? What's it packing there? Point to the engine. 130. Wow. I reckon that's a 7 liter V12 there. Hmm. Man, that's got to be a major advancement over the KR18GU engine on the old Caprice 40. Wow, challenging, and I did it. Yeah, encyclopedia. So that's what, rub your chin, a seven liter V12? 7.2, supercharged. Hmm. The lieutenant is trying to express a smug smile unsuccessfully. A fine machine. Run your hand over the smooth metal surface. Yes, an extraordinary machine. Yeah. It's nice and all, but why so modest? Put some zing into it. Flare it up. Slam it down. Hmm. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. You need to slam it, Kim. Make it more imposing. Sorry, I'm not following you. Hmm. Lingo it up. Drop the ride to Hondo Mill. Get the cham the camber to Frosty Frosty mini Menus. I'm not either. I don't know what I said. No, let's just no, say this. That's porno tuning. Porno tuning. Use bigger words. Wait, what about the spinners then, huh? It needs a massive aero kit and a gargantuan roof mounted. Yeah. Porno. That's short for pornography. Yeah. <laughs> the sole purpose of pornography is to stimulate one's visual sense to evoke sexual arousal. The same is true with the modifications you're proposing. So, what's wrong with the pornography? That's a negative on the porno. Thank you, Doc. Alright. Okay, let's move. So, let's do this. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, now, let me see. toolbox, and can I? Load, a metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. Let's take that. This too. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. I guess. Heavier, cold and heavy, like truth. Hmm. You feel like you're reunited with truth. All right. Small. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Push in the pull out the box. Pull out slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge, castle water Now, the let's universe. pick up the radio. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Have you heard back from the ECP about the serial number? Yes. The armor nice. is produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt, sur la clé in 42. Nice. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacy, a security firm contracted to protect the interests of Iranian pharmaceutical companies in the Seminine conflict. That's good. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the film has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacy has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. Wow. You know what it's called the now? The most recently registered film that the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP is a military contractor called Trinel. And Trinel. the one before it was down when. I think they wow. made a contractor. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should hmm. ask for whom this suit was fitted. First, has the firm continued to work for pharmaceutical companies through all these name changes? Hmm. A suit of armor like this would have been customized to fit the wearer. There must be a record of the person whom it was issued. Hmm. First, has the firm continued? Let's see this. Say, the client list is rather diverse and incomplete. The only concern mm -hmm. seems to be that the mercenaries are always deployed in third and fourth world countries. Hmm. So, let's say the yes, other one. but the ICP tends to be reluctant to share private sector records. Mm. I could try to talk them into it, though. 
Yes, please, do try. It's imperative that we learn whose armor that this was. Sure. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully I will have more information for you okay. then. Okay, so till tomorrow, nothing. Do you find more about the owner of the armored boots? Not yet, but I was able to convince the database people to serve private sector information. Hmm. They promise to get back to me by tomorrow morning. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm done with the radio for now. 57, over and out. In okay. the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. She's cool, on okay. Hood, a pull out toolbox and close the door. Okay, I don't want to hear that any every time. So let me see. Round the number on the victim's armor. That's tomorrow. Call is back in the day for aim for armor also owner, okay? And Yeah, I have a pry bar too, just in case. By the way, can I remove this? Yeah. I don't need this in my hand now. And yeah, for now it's alright. Trust me. So yeah, we did this. This that's what this is what we want to do before you know investigating into union. But let me see, there's something about union. You told Lena Morrow is missing because of broken water lock. She's okay. Now let's see. This is important. I have a day, but it's gonna be hard. Close the water lock, right? Yeah, that's something that I want to do. Wednesday, not now. Send the victim's body to processing, okay? No. Explore the willing secret passages. Oh yeah, now do you know I know what to do before we do uh, anything else. Now this is gonna be open, right? Let's go here and let's continue. This is important. So, yeah, let's go now, right? Hell no, where is the flashlight? I have with me, I guess. Give me that. That's perfect. Now let's go. Run. Open this. Do I have the key, right? Oh yeah. Now I opened, I guess. I don't need the key anymore. Perfect execution. Let's investigate here. Since we left that, because you know, other things happened. And yeah, day handing. And uh, what is this? Yeah, that's the place, right? Ooh, look at this. What is it? The hallway is blocked by whole window pans and derbies. Okay. Looks like the remain of the four, 24 window repair shop. Alright. Can you move, please? Is he stuck or what? Yeah, it was like the camera was not in the right place. Now what? Wait. Stop. Think about this. There's something else? No. Ooh, there's plenty of things here. Let's see this first. Wild animals stare at you in the dark. Stuffing and mounted. Okay, he saved. Something happened, I guess. A large demojun, demojun full of strange liquid. That we don't want to touch, right? Hell no. Not for now. Then... Ooh, I sense something. Our ship brothers covered in spider webs. They remind you of blades. Alright. Ooh, what's here? Yeah, give me that! Money is raising. Not enough to pay the day. Oh, a naked mannequin turtle. A strange yellow color. Let me see. But where are the clothes it used to display? Well, I don't know. Now, let's see this thing, right? Wow, look at that. I want to go there, but wow. More money. Give me that! Yes! I need this money. Give me the more. The more you give me, the better it is. There's something else here. Wow, there's plenty of things here. Let's go here first. I guess. And there's this place too. You know what? I want to check out that place too, but we're gonna do that. So this what is this? appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired framework. 
The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. Hmm. Let me see. Is this, is this recording? Perfectly! Yeah. So, let's go. The radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone inside. Hmm. All right. This is the Ream Civic radio computer. Model RC5120. Equipped okay. with a Feld mainframe and a Ream compatible printer. Okay, so... Do you think I should turn it on? We have one of these down at the station, but I never really learned how to use it. Let me step away first, because there's something here before that I want to check it out. And then we're gonna print that. Let me see how that surroundings first, just in case. There's a door here. Wow. There's other things. So let's check this first. What is this? This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spreading over the stone like blood okay. vessels on alabaster skin. Hmm. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. Hmm. The whole thing resembles Cadran mosaic tiles. Wow. Very pathetic. Hold on. How do I know what Cadran mosaic tiles are supposed to look like in fact? History fest? classes. Students with their textbooks open. Studying the roots of our civilization. Okay. Those aquarelle blue tiles look beautiful in the sun. Okay, what am I looking at? Radio frequencies, it seems. Ooh. UKV 123.6. UKV wow. 123.7. UKV 123.9. Some written notes, too. Sparse and cryptic. Hmm. Radio frequencies for what? Unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. Hmm. So we're dealing with something medical here? You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled The Game Master Frequency. Hmm. A note says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. Okay. It looks like a surveillance program. Hmm. They must have had massive airwaves. These things don't come cheap. Something strange if you give me, if you say it too. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, who is the game master? Someone very important. Alright. A conductor for the hundreds of story threads that pass through the game master's frequency. Hmm. If it's a game, then who's playing? Whoever decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. Hmm. There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. Hmm. My god. Hmm. It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. So these are the guys that we they wanted to do like big things with without money. Hmm. The cost of hired with alone must have been huge. Exactly. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Well, why they do oversized project when they can't, okay? Like, I don't know, like CD Projekt Red did with Cyberpunk. You're not Rockstar Games. Why did you do Rockstar Games like a game if you're not Rockstar Games? Come on, the same thing. What else? Screen that line. Nothing. It's just lines on marble. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Okay. So this thing, what is it? It's pretty... wow. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Okay. Some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. Inspect drawings. These yes. lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins casting wax-based magic. Yeah, that's something about... Translucent welkins with organs shining hmm. under their skin. And even ether welkins hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. How can I say that by a drawing with a chalk? Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured feverish mind? Mm, I don't know. 
maybe the whole the people that lived here or that did something here, some business, was designing this type of things. I don't know. You should adopt one of those Wilkins as your persona. Hmm. No longer a mere man, but a Wilkin. Well, stronger with a sword, yeah, that can be helpful. If someone wants to do something with me, come on, Wilkin. I send you, you know, and yeah, cut this bitch in half with the sword. One of the Welkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. So, examine the Welkin. This is important, I guess. It is Vara Hamira, a what? high Welkin, his face white and scarred like cracked marble. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. Okay. The note says, all non-Welkin races will be purged. Hmm. The Haldor, That's what the, the Dwarf, says. the humans, and even headless men, all of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin, Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. Well, I can't imagine a world like that. I don't know. I simply can't imagine a world like that. If you ask me. Is this working? Or is this not working anymore? Yeah. Uh, wow. I was lucky, okay? My cam suddenly stopped working, right? Let me see. Is this gonna work? Or, or what? Come on, is this a, some kind of a problem? Yes. Guys, I'm gonna try something different for a second. Yeah, I tried something different. Now it's gonna work again, but you're gonna see everything in my room. Uh, stupid fake green screen. Let's try again. Maybe now it works. Yes. Maybe. Finally, I don't know what happened. But yeah, now it works. Software sometimes doesn't want to run, so yeah, I understand. Let me check it out again, sorry guys, for this. Sometimes technical issues happen, okay? So let's go. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little working creatures. So, why would anyone spend so much time on this? Why are these creatures who draw them hard? Let's try the first one. Some people really like building a world, I think, even if it's just for a game. Hmm. So, why would anyone spend so much time on this? I said it already, okay. What are these creatures? Who draw them? Has the, are they real? I have so many questions. I don't know. They are not real, that's for sure. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Whisper. One of them is a Welkin supremacist. No. Well, this has been educational. Let's move on from the well. Oh no, let's whisper this. Mm -hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard too. <laughs> great beard, huh? Wow, look at the beard. The lieutenant nods at the Welkin's facial hair. Yeah. Well, this has been educational. Let's move on from the Welkin. Just look at those details. So much effort. Yeah, they tried. Inspect the photos now. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms, dead trees grown in under the snow. Maybe this was, I don't know, a toy company, a video game company, something, I don't know. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up rivers. Movie banks, company. Abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses hmm. in the dark. Carcasses and bones. All right. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers, boreal dwarf, yurts under the snow, great mammoth-like beasts of burden. Okay. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy in its own way, like eggnog or morphine, a much-needed respite from our own world. Okay. A pinned postcard reads, the heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. 
<laughs> wow. So inspect the schedule now. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Wow. Cryptic words like Sprint, Daily Minami, and GPI span the market-drawn grid. The grand scheme of production and money. There's no money, only production. Minami stands for a mini-meeting. It's part okay. of a bigger framework for managing work called RUN. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. Wow. Keep reading, for sure. Station 41 is something that interests me, right? As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Okay. Looks like they didn't make it. Well, the lieutenant looks at the frigid ice field of nothingness. Well, at least they tried. That's what I can say. Yeah, they waste too much money. They want to do th bigger things with and they can't, obviously. But they tried. At least that. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, see the prod schedule filament for details. Hmm, inspect note. The handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make out three slogans. Call in, tune out, we're all untethered, and Ooh. heat death of the universe. We're all untethered. Outside, a cold wind wraps the building in its bosom. Snowflakes in the wind. An old woman passes what the locals call the doomed commercial area. She tries hard not to look at the bookstore windows. It's unwise. Okay, let's leave. Wow, now let's do with this. But before we do that, let's save. I don't know, maybe since it's an old machine, it works and then it like explodes and I die and I have to do all this all over again now. But let's see. The dusty radio computer sleeps on its wired frame, forgotten and unused. Turn on the machine. The let's machine go. lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, Whoa. revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. Oh, maybe print is important, better than play. I will look inside the compartment first, but... How this is lining up? How there's current here, in an abandoned place? There must be no current here, right? That's strange if you ask me, look inside the compartment. It's empty, like a beehive, without its brood. Some cables have been left dangling, disconnected. Okay. This is where the memory should go. Okay, the memory. Hmm. So I have memory of some kind somewhere, I don't know. Press play. Nothing happens. Okay. Something's missing. There's no tape in the player. Ooh. So this reads tape. So I guess I don't need to buy that 12 uh, thing. Oh no, that's music, that's different maybe. Press print. Nothing happens. Okay. Press play again. Nothing happens. Something's missing. There's no time okay. to play. Let's leave for now. But yeah, that was quite something. So now we can go forward. Let's go. Okay. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? Hmm. Someone tried to exercise the curse using technology? No. Looks like an undercover counterintelligence program. Mm, I don't know. It's just a failed business. Yes. The only question is why? What the hell were they making? This is the thing for me. Yes. That is the question. The lieutenant takes a step back, steeping, steepling his hands. Like he's ready to lay out a fine theory. Hmm. Crafted together like a puzzle box. Wow. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. By the way, this is so good. Like how they describe things and everything. This is so fucking fantastic for real. This is incredible. This game, let me check it out by the way. It's still recording. Yeah, this is incredible. So, how were they planning to do that? Through calling stations. None of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game as long as they have a two-way radio. Okay. Then there's the Game Master Frequency that listens in on the smaller calling stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories. 
functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Okay. His fascination has swept aside other hmm. concerns for the moment. He's a little hmm. You want to know, huh? Coordinating so many games would take a whole switchboard of people, possibly divided into sub-frequencies. Hmm, I guess they did this, but without the, the money that we that they need, I guess. Has anyone ever done this before? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. They make automated games in Gard, Messina, Konigstein. You know, places with industry. Hmm. Not in Revachol West, among the ruins. Hmm, well. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an inter game before. We just don't have the technology. Hmm, maybe they were trying to develop it. I don't know. And uh, this was a role-playing game? Indeed. Those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Hmm. Role-playing people love that stuff. The world well. looks like a modified sure. version of the Wii World board game, with heat death thrown in. Hmm. Wow. Super cool. So Super much cool. give them yes. millions of real immediately. This game is too good to be left unfinished. Yes, let's complete this game. Give the money to these people. I guess these people, there's even not these people no more now. But yeah, that would have been cool if it was if it come out. But they they make a wrong mistake. Okay, they want to point. Uh, well, they want to do things too big, and they fail. That's it. So, I don't know if is this relevant, relevant to the case or not. So that's the problem. I've been doing this. This quest that I'm doing, it's because of, for, of the murder, okay? Because maybe no things around can help. But I don't know, sometimes I feel like some quests that I did didn't bring nothing to the case. Nothing useful. And uh, come on, I want to do things useful, okay? So, because I want to solve the mystery. I want to see. Who is the murderer and why? And he gonna be in jail. So, what do you think happened to the company? No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. They simply closed up? I don't know. Wow, conclude. Indeed. It's ambitious and untethered from reality, but... Like I was saying, they were insane if they thought they could do this. In yes, fact... especially in here. Do you see this place now? How can this shitty place, this shitty city, have something like this? It's uh, wow, they tried, by the way. I, I'm like, yeah, at least they tried, okay? That's why, how I am like. But yeah. The, the lieutenant looks around the, to the derelict room. The pipes howl and a rat crosses the floor in front of your feet. Ugh. Okay, let's keep moving. I guess there's rats. So let's go. Need to pass time, buy a book. Reading passes time quickly. Yeah, maybe. After this, we're going to talk to the Union. And let's see what Union guys has to say. Whoa. Look at this place. Wow. There's, by the way, let me check it out. Oh, what's this? Something I can take, huh? Give me that. And uh, one morale too. Magnesium. Why it doesn't go up? I don't know that. But yeah, look at this. There's some stairs. Okay, so I'm down now. Wow. Look at this. This is cool. Look at this place. This is a... Wow, a bear. A bear. Hey, wait. Don't do that. Let's check this first. Why not? An ice cream maker, defrosted and unplugged. Wow. And this, what is? The flashlight casts a strange shadow. There's a hidden doorway here. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Ooh, look at this too. A frozen ice cream maker that's still running. Whoa. Still running? What is this? Something? Money? Please? Yeah! Every fucking cent of real that I get is important. Give me that! For health. Yeah. Now let's see this. What is that? You know, I'm checking the place around before doing something. I don't know. I feel like intercom wires running into the breaker box. And this, wow, this is another way to go. Wow, this money? What is that? 
Plus one drama. Insane mesh tank top. Let me see that. Plus one physical instrument. And uh, the other tank top. Let me see. Gives one drama. Wow. Chemical, clinically insane. Wow. Where did you ever get that one? No, really. Who put it in that drawer? No further comments. Wear it at your own risk. Oh, I understand. Let me try this, by the way. Yeah, I can at least try. Ugh, hell no. Hell no, okay. No thanks. Let's try to be a little bit decent, okay? Just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. So, now, before we go to the secret passage and everything, let's see. Oh, first of all, there's this thing and there's... Let's check this here. The wall collapsed. It's an, an it's inaccessible now. Okay, at least I know I can go there and there's something else to see here. No. So let's try with the let's start with the with this. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. Okay. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. Let's continue. This ice bear is a hyper carnivore. Be careful. Well, it's a fake ice bear. It's not mega it's the not bear real. Looks oddly realistic. Is it taxidermy? What is this thing? It looks like a giant ice bear. The lieutenant doesn't answer. His eyes are glued to the animal. A sharp slice of light shines out from its mysterious belly door. Crack the light, the door open. I will wait. I don't know. I feel like there's, you know, there's. Uh, let me. You know what I want to do? Look at, look on the ground. Look at these cables. I want to follow this cable first. I feel like maybe something can change if I... Because this generator has no lights. And there's a secret door here, so let's check this first, okay? Let's see, what is this? Two rusty rifles are hidden above the pinging. They look inoperable. Wow, rifles? I can take them? And here? Someone has stuck some busted guns beneath the ceiling. Wow, busted guns. There's something else, this thing. Let's look at this first. A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. Whoa. It's too dark to see in. Where are we? Look around the secret room. Look, there's a hole in the walls. Shine light on the hidden compartment. Number one first. Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Okay. Look at wow. all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cache. Hmm. So look, look, there's an hole in the wall. Let's there see. is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Ooh. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? Yes, let's take a look. Your hand reaches deep into darkness and spider webs. Rummaging around, you find rusty rifles hidden away. Inspect the rifles. Most of them are rusty and inoperable, like the rest. But one catches Ooh. your eye. A bolt action model with a fine wood stock in better cosmetic order than the others. This one looks nice. Take the rifle. A rare sight. Seems to Ooh. no longer be functional, but still beautiful thing in its own way. Wow, it's not functional. Maybe we can repair this. What does this mean? A rifle here? It means there are firearms, albeit inoperable, still lying around in Martinez. It's an interesting coincidence, I would say might come in useful in the future. I hope so. Wow, we found a rifle. Let me see that. Items. Whoa. Can I, like, take this in my hand? Like, if I remove the fresh right, for example, and I... Where is the rifle? No. Hell no. So let's go to tools and let's take the, uh, the flashlight again. But let me read that. Antique Bell Magrave Rifle. Price? Okay, that's a price. A broken Bell Magrave from age past. It's four shot. Bolt action military rifle with a wooden frame. Oh, this is cool. Alright. I hope it's useful. So here, a few bricks there's nothing off. else. Wow, that was pretty cool. So now what? You know what? Yeah, I know what. Let's go. There's a panel here, like a, a current something. Uh, let's see this thing before we go to the bear. 
Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads off into the darkness and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. Okay, two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads off into the darkness and the black one to the ice cream maker ne nearby. Rip the red one out. Look how giant and red and inviting it is. Let's try. Don't rip the red one out. You'll awaken the ghosts. Unplug the giant red cable. Let's try. An electric sizzle. The room is slightly quieter now. Okay. Unplug the black cable. Something close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? It's black. It's not like it's the right one. <laughs> because it's black. The color of immeasurable cosmos. I don't know why I unplugged it. I do things without any reason. In fact, this time I just wanted to try. So yeah. The lieutenant raises his brows, That's but truth. doesn't say anything. The electric distribution board now has one cable missing. Plug in the giant red cable, only the red, let's see. Somewhere in the dark, a giant electric mammal stirs to life. Wow. Stirs to life, let me see. This does say something changed. I want to check out. This is without current now, I guess. You I see know. a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost, and okay. this ice bear is a hyper carnivore. Be careful. Understand. The bear looks oddly realistic. Is it taxidermy? I don't know, back off. You know what? I want to try without any power. Because you, the fact is, I see first the red eyes. Then I see the cables on the ground, and I don't know, I feel like something's gonna happen. I, I, I want to be super careful in this game now. And uh, yeah, let's try again. Since I can play with this, something's gonna happen. When I see Only that I can interact with power, the box, while the black one unplug the giant red cable. Sizzle. The room is slightly quieter now. Okay, now. Let me try. I have unplugged the red cable. Let me see. Those is still. Look at that. No red eyes anymore. Something's changed. And maybe now it's better. You see the looming shadow of an ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is slightly open. Was it before? Its eyes are dead. But it's still terrifying. Run before it wakes up. The oh, bear looks just... oddly realistic. Is it taxidermy? Crack open the door. A faint waft of cold air rolls out. You hear the sound of dripping water. This is the inside of a defrosting refrigerator. Okay. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Relax, Kim. It's a fridge. Yeah. Of course, just a giant ice bear shaped fridge. He relaxes his hand, his face bathed in the harsh light of open fridge door. Let's take a look inside. Look inside of the fridge. The shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revachon oh. Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. Wow, take the note from the door. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. Well, I need to read that, for sure. Examine one of the ice cream wrappers in there. A friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from a glossy cellophane wrapper. It looks nothing like the fridge. Okay. What is a giant bear-shaped fridge doing in a, an abandoned cellar at the first place? Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. Yeah. It tries to study in the darkness. So they try to sell ice cream from this hyper carnivore? I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. Okay. At least it's not running them a loss anymore. Now that you've unplugged the cable. Hmm. He points at the red shaky cable running from the fridge. The fridge sits empty before you. An overindulgent hmm. wardrobe. Now that the cooling systems aren't active. Alright, close the door. So I get something. And yeah, let me see. Interact. For sure. 
Let me read that if I can, because it seems like handwritten note you found from the giant Heisberg fridge. It still bears some marks from the fridge-shaped kitchen magnets that we used to secure it to refrigerator door. Interact. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen okay. magnets have left spots on its surface. Okay. Does it say anything interesting? The lieutenant leans closer to read the complete note over your shoulder. Let's see. This is tangential at best. But the hmm. lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Hmm. Read, read the note. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. Oh, the little ginger kid. Kuno. You find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, silly swap. So I wonder who wrote the Looks notes. Like someone from that radio game company upstairs. Hmm. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying here. Hmm. Maybe they had to leave in a hurry. Hmm. That's a plausible hypothesis. Remind me again, what's film and memory? It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes, only for a computer. Well, who's the illiterate ginger kid? Really? You don't have a Kuno. Scene, I guess? You mean Kuno? Well, I'm sure that yeah. would Give me experience! The filament memory. Even if he doesn't know what to do with it, he'd probably try to pawn it for speed. Based on our encounter. Hmm. Do you have an idea where the frozen ice cream maker could be? I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Okay. Didn't you see one right next to the breaker box? Oh, breaker box. Put another way. So that helped, right? Oh, this is the sound, okay? So now the what? eyes are dead and empty. Examine Ice one of those new wrappers the there. Slowly melting. The, a friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from a glossy cellophane wrapper. Okay. So now I need something else to check out, right? Let me see. Oh, I didn't go there, right? I didn't click this. I forgot. Let's see what's this all about. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melted. Turn on the ice milk crank. You know what? Maybe I need to yeah, power up. Let me see on the ground. This is a red. So I need a red cable, I guess, right? Let's try. Both cables are plug, plugged. Plug in the, the giant red somewhere cable. Somewhere in the dark. A giant. Okay, I did it. So let's try with this. Maybe now we will do something. This orange machine is dead still. Turn it the ice cream crank. crank. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying. Like okay. stirring your childhood dreams. In the distance you hear water dripping. It's what? all gone now. You'll never become a poet or an entrepreneur. Okay, but what happened? What better to assuage the creeping sense of failure and some frozen fat and sugar. Oh, so I didn't... Uh, let me leave for a second. Okay, before... I want to try something else. Let's try with Only the... Only the red cable is plugged into... Unplug the, the giant red sizzle. and plug Somewhere, the black. A machine hums along with the current. Okay, I tried only with the black cable. Now... This orange machine is turning the crank. It's all gone now. What better to assume oh, nothing. The creeping so before we do that and we take like I don't oh, know how many volts of current into the break. Let's box. unplug all well, the, the cables. Oh no, I mean I'm Only the black cable something. Okay. Cut. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's black, it's not like the, it's the right one. The lieutenant raises his <laughs> brows but <laughs> yeah. doesn't say anything. The electric Let's leave now. Now let's do what we gonna do. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner. You know what I want to do? Let me equip, uh, let me remove this 
And let me take the pry bar. Maybe this will help, okay? Let me try with the pry bar. This orange machine Whoa. is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. Very low. 3%. Why? Player not strong. Pry bar not strong enough. Minus 20. Hey. Let's remove the pry bar right now. I was thinking maybe that's this is good. Hell no, apparently. So let me leave for a second, please. Let me bring the the notepad again and yeah, fuck. And if I use this chain cutters, I don't think chain cutters is the right tool. Let's see. Something this changed. Machine is dead. No, so you know, let's stick with the ledge of failure hand hatred. Did I read this, by the way? This is the same ledger you found in the trash, only worse, somehow. It makes you think about the letter, about a woman's handwriting, about not wanting to get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, this is shitty. But yeah, that represents my style, so let's go. I this hope I don't... Machine is you know what? Still. I feel like I can die for some reason. I, I'm scared of this place, so let's save. Not load, save, look at... Oh, it's saved there, wow. Let's save again, by the way. Because who knows, better save! This orange so let's try to crack open the lid. Slip your fingers under the frozen Whoa. lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come in handy here. No, this is going to need something else. Okay. Some kind of super pry bar. Don't even try to open it with a regular pry bar. You're just wasting your time. Okay. If you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. Hmm. With the pry bar. But 3%. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I want to, that's the point. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. Very low. We're gonna try. I'm not sure about this. Try! The ice squeaks Fuck. beneath the pull bar. You think you've got the bar jammed in there. Come on! Well, but the lid simply won't budge. You see the pry bar's metal handle bending right before Whoa. your very eyes. Okay. Yeah, well, that's a good pry bar. I'm not criticizing it. But this ice cream maker is frozen shut. It takes an advanced tool to get it open. Advanced? Where do we get one? I have no idea, officer. This ice cream maker isn't important enough to requisition a special tool. Hmm. I don't know. Sooner or later, you will stumble upon a tool mighty enough. Then we will know what's in this mysterious ice cream maker. Absolutely. So now I can do shit. That's the point, right? And the pry bar is in uh, what shape? I oh, know. Let's change that. Give me this, by the way. Okay. So let's go. We can go further, I guess, right? Let's go here. Let's see where this place goes. Wow, this place is huge. Was current, late, everything. Oh my god. No curse, by the way. Whatsoever. Only a big abandoned place. Strangely, with current active still. Okay. <coughs> but. Whoa. Is this the daughter we. Whoa. Whoa, this is the door that I've... Why, why this is open now? Let me see now. An old call box with East Delta Commerce Center. This must be the name of the doomed commercial Whoa. area. Whoa. Let's leave this. We did this already. So I guess now I can remove my... Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that now, right? And now, let's go talk to the... 
to the lady inside. Who? Who is this guy? He's new. And uh, yeah, let's talk with him later, I guess. That's new for sure. This is working. Let me see. Yeah, it's recording. But you know what? <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, maybe. You know what? I want to talk to him first for some reason. And I will do that. But next episode. Yeah, we did it pretty much. You know, this episode was pretty intense. And we almost discovered the secret of the thing down there. And maybe can help with investigations. Who knows? Oh, by the way. Hmm. You know, before we end the episode, now I remember. There's something else that I didn't check out. There's another place that I didn't watch. I don't know why I decided to go. Come on. This game, we need to pay attention. You can't lose a detail. If you lose a detail, you lost. And, yeah... I pretty much did here. Let's go back. I know what I miss. Wow, now it's all black. Yeah, without light. So maybe I need light. Let's I keep the flashlight just in case. This place. I forgot. Let's check this out. A layer of cold dust covers the furnace, coloring it pitch black. Okay. Looks like this furnace has a face, and it's a face of agony. Well, it's abandoned, so... King, what is this thing? Is, is it a furnace? Looks like it. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's hmm. connected to the chimney. He opens the door and gingerly peeks inside. No one has used it in ages. I know. No signs of any recent fire. Only dead rats. Look inside the furnace. It's dark and grimy here. In the darkness you can hear chatter. It's coming from above. A voice or several voices a voice? talking to each other. Near the smoke chamber, upstairs. What? What are you doing? The lieutenant ask when he sees you climbing halfway inside the furnace. I'm hallucinating, or maybe it's the entity now. I hear the murder of the hanged man talking. No, I'm not sure, King, but I think I can hear someone talking upstairs. Wait, really? You should investigate. See if someone's upstairs. Wow, 90% high physical instrument. Smear your hands with coal. Those voices I heard, maybe physical instrument. Yell hello into the furnace. Let's try this. Can Something yes. Breaks loose in you. A mighty bellow echoes throughout the chimney's depths. Did it? The chatter of tiny voices above suddenly cease. Oh. Then. Hello. You hear a woman's voice answer. No. You've awakened the entity. Or yes, but it didn't speak. Is this the po this is the police? Who's there? I'm assuming the ghost of this doomed come. No, hello, are you there? Speak to me. Experience. Hello, did you say anything? There, there's a pause. I can hear you. Please come upstairs. There's a safety curtain on second floor. I'll open. I don't know if this is a bug, an error of the game. Of this voice wasn't uh, covered because you know every character speaks now. In the final cut, or whoever it's called, whatever it's called, and uh, it's strange. First of all, look at me. I'm inside my lieutenant, my friend, my I'm inside Kim, and uh, yeah, maybe it's a problem. I don't know. There's a safety curtain in the second floor. I open it. You hear a low rumble upstairs. Wow. The sound of a curtain being pulled aside. A safety curtain. After you, officer. Wow, smear your hands with coal. Why I want to do that? Let's try. A lush layer of coal now covers your skin, sinking into the wrinkles. Your hands look ancient. Why I do that? You feel the spirit of Ramut Karazai, ancient what? hero of Gra, pulsing through you. All that's left is to cover your face in war paint. Hard, hard on Karazai. Smear your cheeks black with coal. No, let's express ourselves. Let's just wipe our hands clean on our pants. Now, let's try this. Three dangerous stripes <laughs> appear onto your cheeks. Hmm. Telling stories of your wild soul. Alright. What? What are you <laughs> doing? I am the reincarnation of an ancient Hila Maran warrior. Please wipe your face clean, officer. <laughs> no. 
You're a proud warrior. Uh, I'm a proud warrior. Authority minus one. Plus one, just because Kim trusts me. Wipe it clay in Okay. Game. So, where were we? Those voices I heard. Maybe it's the Malin. No. Kick it, kick it with your foot. No, it's iron. Maybe I hurt my foot. Why I want to hurt my foot? If, of course I don't. So let's not kick things. Last time I kicked something was like a trash can. I lose health. So don't do stupid shit. Because what's the reason to kick that thing? Let's go upstairs and let's check this out before we end the episode, okay? Wow. That was something, if you ask me. Uh oh. See the sound? It's like, I don't know, ghosts or radio, things like that, okay? Let's see. I can see shit, by the way. I clicked on something. Oh, did I go through here? Let me see, there's something to take. Because hell no, I didn't go through here. Because why do something, you know, wow, I didn't go through here, I forgot. That's new. Wow, so, whoa. What's this? Shoes in a puddle of melting snow. Melting snow? Inside here? So they are fresh, they go outside. In fact, there was voices down there. But that's... Wow, I didn't... Ooh, what's that? What is this? Can I take this? What is this? Postcard La Delta 51. Let me see, can I see this? Wow, what is this? Postcard La Delta 51. Wow. The sunlight has made this postcard almost completely safe yet toned. Midtown traffic passes. Overhead, the ghosts of skyscrapers disappear into the badge midway mist, vapor rising from the delta on which the district was built. The postcard is prepaid. Alright, it's a prepaid postcard, but it's I think it's super whole. Whoa! I guess this is the passage that opened. And uh, I didn't know that because I I didn't come here first. This is cool, if you ask me. Let me check it out. What is this? This tray is full of dyes. Colorful, polyethical dyes. Hundreds of them. Wow. Then? The candy dispenser has been reposed to contain thousands of dyes. Wow. What is this place? This new? Hello. I'm Nia. Hello. A bird-like woman sits on the throne of tools with emerald lights shining through the hair. Did you try knocking on my window? I must have missed you. I've been listening to my millions. In fact, I don't try to knock on your windows. In fact, I didn't know this place. In fact, I didn't check it out. As always, I forgot I missed something. And then my investigation is gonna go to shit. I need to pay attention. With my eagle eyes. So yeah, she taps on the headphones. So what kind of dye are you looking for? Dime? No, no dime. Could this be the malicious entity? <laughs> Perhaps it's wise to go along with this masquerade for now. The curse, yeah, this she's the curse. I she know that. Direct you to the backyard. You should interrogate her about the lynch. Absolutely, yeah, that's yeah helpful for investigations. I know that. That it would have been helpful for investigations. And in fact, it did. So, uh, yeah, you know. Hold on, what do you mean by millennials? Yes, or maybe it's like a call in station. You need a two way radio to access one. That's Ooh. why I have these. She passed the headphones on the table. Mostly, they just teach you to swear in different languages. <laughs> but some of the stations can be quite interesting. I was so absorbed, I must have missed you knocking. Hmm. You must have me confused with someone else. I have knocked on your window. Then how did you get inside? By the south entrance? You know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is that you're finally here. Let's talk dice. Did you have something specific in mind? Dice? Why are you asking me about dice? Move on. I'm a novelty dice maker. 
Tell me the name of your role-playing system and I'll make the die you need. That's why you're here, yes? Hmm. No. As she speaks, her bone-like fingers fiddle with a ring. Her bones light, but her hands strong. Okay. Role-playing games? You hmm. know the one made by Fortress Accident. Does that count? Maybe. Sure, I like role-playing games and I need some dice. Maybe I'm not really sure why I'm here, honestly. No, I was looking something else. Answers. <laughs> I'm not interested in buying dice right now. I'm police officer and I need to ask some questions. No, I was looking for something else. Answers. Answers? How strange. These days people only come to me for dice and role-playing games. Well, not everyone. Me, I'm different than other people. I'm not sure how helpful I'll be, but go ahead and ask. The walls around her are covered with a rows of precious stones and minerals. It almost looks as if the stones and dice are a natural part of the room, growing out of the shells like hmm. stalagmites. Cool. Cool. No falsehoods are present. Ooh. She's a novelty dice maker and doesn't have anything to hide. Ask what you need. What is that? Breakthrough imminent. What does it mean? I don't know. Something. So. Maybe I completed that. So, how did you become a dice maker? How did I become one? It yeah. was a business decision. I was a regular jeweler at first. But that's an unfocused field with too much competition. Okay. Some of my friends were role players. They asked me to make some polyhedro dice out of cobalt. That was my first order. I grew it from there. Alright. Do you like role playing games yourself? Not especially. Hmm. I like working with rare materials and a steady pay. And role players as customers? They're nice people. Well, it's uh, usually something that happens. Maybe someone does some type of work, or some type of hobby and doesn't like the... For example, let me make an example of myself. I like go fishing in sea environment. I fish a lot. A lot of species of fishes, sea basses, bluefish, uh, uh, and other type of fishes, okay? But I don't eat fish. I don't like eat fish at all, okay? Not too much. Maybe s just something occasionally, just if I had to, but I don't like eat fish. I don't like fish at all. And I fish. I go fishing, okay? So, you know, it's like the same thing. He's doing something as a work for uh, for role player, you know, the dice for role playing games. But he doesn't like role playing games. Can happen. Like to me with fishing, for example. So, it's a, I, I think it's a common thing, okay? That can happen. So, yeah, all right. Let's continue. Some of those nice people have big bucks to spend on novelty items. All right. So, okay, I'd like to order that die from... I don't know. Maybe I can. Let me see. Can I try? Of course. Tell me what you have in mind. Just a normal die for me. Very regular. I'm looking for something to help with my work. Okay. Let me see. I think I have just the right one for you. Ooh. She opens the top drawer of her work desk and takes something out. Two polyhedrons, red and blue, are cartlet in her palm. I don't get it. You're a police it. officer, right? Yes. Here, catch. They're she a does, gift for me. They're a gift for me. Wow. A beautiful woman tossing you a gift. Whatever you do, don't overthink it. Let them fall on the ground or this, right? Catch the dice. Mr. Yes! Succeeded! Dice out of the air with one hand, just like you're in a movie. Mr. Smooth moves, huh? Hell yeah! Like I'm in a movie, for real. Wink at the dice maker, say nothing. Act like you've done this a thousand times. Wink at the dice maker, yeah. Oh, what are the odds? <laughs> the red one is made of bloodstone with a lapis lazuli inlay, and the blue one is the inverse. Wow. I believe these dice are your lucky charm, officer. I hope so, they're lucky. She winked back at you. K 
Can you believe it? You truly are Mr. Smooth. Yeah, Mr. Smooth moves for sure. You definitely need luck in Martinez. Was there anything else? Uh, absolutely. What do you know about the man who was lynched behind the railing in rags? Nothing really. I didn't know him. Okay, but do you see something? Who cares about the dead body? We might be dealing with a malignant entity here. Hey, no. The lieutenant looks at his notebook, then the woman under the large window. Okay. Your window looks directly onto the courtyard. Yeah, You're that's saying true. you didn't see or hear anything unusual last Sunday evening. Hmm. I'm sorry, detective, but as you know, I usually have my headphones on when I'm working. It shuts out most of the daily ruckus behind my window. Hmm. I don't know if I trust her. Because, okay, you have your headphones and everything, but maybe you distract for one second, you get up with your head and you see, you know, after the window, you see something maybe, even if you don't hear it. Because headphones. Okay, you don't hear shit. But you can see. You don't have uh, something to block your fucking eyes. Okay, you need them to work, right? So, I don't know. I don't like this girl for some reason. It's like... Let me give you some dice for free. So I can buy you, okay, with the dice. And you don't break my bones, okay? Even if I know something, don't bother me. I give you the dice. Hell no. I'm gonna ask this girl everything. And we're gonna unveil the truth. Because she's the curse. No, it's not, but yeah. What do you mean by daily ruckus? Well, there's always something going on in the whirling's backyard. She stops to try and come up with an example. During daytime, there are usually those kids. Oh my god, Kuno. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of drunk workers hanging about. Must be because of the strike. Kuno and Kuness, yeah. She's heard of the murder, but did not see it, sire. Hmm. I don't trust this. But I never saw anyone during that fateful Sunday night, I'm afraid. Anyone? What a combination. Just that Sunday night, huh? Alright, and you never look you never took your eyes off the work to look out the window. Thank god there is this. This was how that this is why this game is good. This is why this game is fucking amazing. There's so much there's so much things to hear, to listen, to talk, to choose and to change the way the game goes. It's fantastic. I was thinking about this and yeah, here we are. And you never took your eyes off the work to look out the window. Let's choose this one. Yeah. I might have, but in this case, all I would have seen is my own reflection staring back from the darkness. What? Why? It's really hard to make anything out in the yard when it's dark outside. Besides, I rarely get hmm. up to look out the window when I'm in the zone. Hmm. Do you often work Sunday nights? It's an odd profession, making dice for people. But I like it, and I prefer doing this to sitting at home. Well, at least it's something, it's work. At least she gets paid a little bit, at least, and do something that she likes. And, in fact, Maybe there are some dice that cost so much, some rare things with, made with rare stones or gems that uh, maybe they pay her off a lot. Maybe some collectionists or something like that, they want the rarest days in history. Who knows? So, I see. Thank you for your answer. She nods. Alright. Anything else, officer? Hey, where... Where are we anyway? What is this place? Look around the room. We're inside the chimney of an old central furnace. It's strange, I know. Okay. She looks at the ruddy bricks that make up the walls. Even though the, if they've been repainted, there are still signs of coal black soot here and there. So before we read it, let's see this. Investigate doomed commercial area. Wow. People say the commercial building on the plaza is cursed. No business will ever thrive the, there without going bankrupt. You probably play sense you look into it. Enter the sealed door behind the bookstore to find out what happened to the companies there. Ask novelty dice maker about their curse. Oh yeah, let's do this. 
But when I arrived here, all the other rooms were taken, so I okay. had to build myself a makeshift home. Besides, I don't really have to pay any rent here, so that's a plus. Taken? From who? Plaisance was right. There's an entity living in the chimney. <laughs> you should ask her about the curse. Alright. Creative. Mm -hmm. I heard this place is cursed. Did you know that people call it doomed commercial area? I've heard the stories, but I don't think those stories are true. Hmm. Wait, how do you explain what happened to all those companies then? Playsense is the one who sent me. She's convinced that the place is warning with malicious energies. I don't know, I'm gonna say this, Playsense. Let's try. Playsense, the bookshop lady? Hmm. I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Hmm. Have the energy spared her somehow? No, I guess she's lying, maybe. Blazens is a wise woman. She has cement trinkets protecting her against the curse. No, actually, the bookstore is doing that well. There are, there are hardly any customers and she has to exploit her own daughter to keep the company going. The curse is just... I don't know why the bookstore hasn't gone bankrupt yet. That was my hint to investigate. Let's say the number two. Actually, the bookstore is doing that well. There are hardly any customers and she has to exploit her own daughter to keep the company going. All right, but it's not just the bookstore that's still up and running. What about the whirling in racks? Some people mm. say it's part of the building complex. So hold on, the whirling in rack is part of the doomed commercial area, no? Yes, but it's still separate building. The malicious energies can reach there, no? No, the railing isn't doing well either. Its weight rest just took off and customers have trouble paying bills. <laughs> Me, for example. You're right, the railing doesn't really look like it's cursed. Number three. No, the railing isn't doing well either. Its weight rest just took off and customers have trouble paying bills. Me. And then there is me. <sighs> There's you. Yeah, I don't know if this is illegal, by the way. But, you know, he, she's not paying anything and then she's working, so yeah, at least she's okay. She's making through this fucking city that is, wow. This kind girl is like the best character we encountered so far, almost. This city is, wow, she is here alone for herself, not bothering no one, yeah, that's perfect. Alright. She sighs, looking at her messy work table. All kinds of tools like they are scattered, from knives to the carving files to wire cutters. I've been here for 14 years, Whoa. selling novelty dice to role-playing enthusiasts. Okay. Not exactly a million real business idea, yet somehow I've survived despite the talk of malicious energies. Strange, isn't it? People always talk and say shit. They don't know people, but they talk, you know? And let's them talk. Who gives a fuck? Words mean nothing. Facts. That means not words. People can say all the shit they want, but the facts speak for themselves. And here there are some facts. She's still doing what is like, what likes, and he's still alive. He survived. She survived. Sorry. She has money. My bad internet English as always. She has money, she's working, she's living. She don't give a fuck about the others that talks and she uh, is doing good, okay? It's because she's in cahoots with the demons. Oh, come on. Maybe it's just because she's so talented that she's been able to woo the curse. She's talented enough and no curse. Listen, think it's because you're the source of it, no. It's because you're competent and dedicated to your craft. The curse doesn't affect people like you. No, the curse will get you. I'll be the first to admit that there are many inconsistencies in so-called curse. Yeah. I was just about to ask. <laughs> what she... do you think? Do you think the curse is real? No. The jig is up. The she-demon knows you've uncovered her true identity. What? Time has come to face the source. Fear not, for the forces of the universe are supporting you in this psychic quest. Okay, I, I think it still might be you that causing this. Narrow your eyes very mysteriously. 
I'm starting to see that there is no curse, only business decisions and natural market fluctuations. Honestly, I'm still not sure. This will this positive play. No, number two for sure. I'm starting to see that there is no curse, only business decisions and natural market fluctuations. Exactly. Truth all is right. always so disappointingly mundane and boring. All right. But I'm glad we got this sorted out. Anything else I can help you with today? Let me see. I completed. Done. Let's go. Yeah, I'm doing things. And uh, wow, I like this. Let's That's go. all she has to say on the subject. She's been thorough and truthful as far as we could see. By the way, time has passed. Oh my god. Do you know what happened to the other tenants? Everyone else is gone. More or less. Are you interested in anyone specific? Oh, quite a Whoa. lot of them spring to mind. There used to be a hair salon here, yes, right? Yes, I think it was called Androgynous Orlando or something similar. Mm, they were in a big Orlando, hit around yes. here. Turns out that working class men don't like genderless haircuts. They're scared of that word. What? All you right. wouldn't like it either. The others would laugh at you. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. The Depends on the haircut. A experiment in every now and then isn't bad. Yeah. It's not about the haircut, it's about the confidence. Well, all right, we succeeded to all the three. Physical instrument, concept transition, and composer. All right. So what's wrong with a bit of experimenting? The customers should have been more open-minded. I will never let anyone androgynous touch my hair, not even if my life depended on it. I guess I'm a simple man. I don't really have any opinions on hairstyles. Yeah, that's the truth. I just want it off my face. <laughs> She tucks a stand of hair under her and scarf. What happened to the gym? It wasn't merely a gym, it was Artemitep's boxing club. A community right. project created to steer at risk use away from drugs and crime. Uh, that's noble, but... And who was Artemitep? A kind man from Zemsk. I heard wow. he had some trouble with the law when he was younger. And that's why he wanted to start the gym, as his way of giving back. All right, so maybe that's what Kuno needs, a community-centric boxing club. I don't know, how did uh, that community project work out? Judging from the kids I've met so far, it didn't really work, <laughs> did I? In fact, maybe that's uh, what Kuno needs, a community-centric boxing club. Hmm. Kuno? Who's Kuno? What? F is she real? I don't like this. I I like the fact that she's kind, she's doing his wor her work, she's alone by herself here. But she, I, I hate the fact that she's out of reality, okay? It's good to be alone in your room and do your things and don't think about others and do your stuff, do what you like, work, everything. But take an open eyes, eyes wide open on reality on what's around you okay you don't know who's kuno that's bad if you ask me he's sort of a, the king around here he's a little ginger gremlin who likes to de de defile dead bodies indeed who is kuno your guess is as good as mine number two. Oh yes you mean the kid with the sailor's mouth <laughs> yes yes i've heard him yelling profanities in the backyard only she looks out of the window. It's suddenly quiet there at the moment. Wow. I think it would take more than a gym to help that kid. Whoa. So, judging from the kids I've met so far, it didn't really work, did it? It didn't. If anything, it made the youth situation in Martinez even worse. Whoa. At some point, someone started a rumor that the punching back downstairs was full of amphetamines. Okay. You should have known it. Alright. It's not really full of that. No one would store their drugs like that. Okay. Eventually, the coalition took away the funding and the club went bankrupt. Let me see, still recording? It was a few years ago. Yes. It's gotten much more peaceful around the plaza ever since. Okay, so what's up with the broken windows? Oh, this one's a mess. I see. There used to be a company that promised to repair windows 24 hours a day. Oh. What could go wrong with this one, right? <laughs> 24 hours a day, and hell yeah. Now, the business was actually set up as a front for an illicit group that was producing snuff milias. Who would have guessed? Hmm. What's the snuff milia? 
Trust me, you don't want to know. I see. And they never cleaned up the debris either. Now it's just littering the hallway and I have no idea how to get rid of it on my own. Okay. Cool. No, don't do this. It's like I don't want to know, but I want to know at the same time. Let's let's ask. I want to know. Who gives a fuck? Cool. Very cool about the debris. Debris. But what's Snuff Miller? It's a Sub Rosa radio station that broadcasts real murders with real victims. Some people oh. pay good money to get off on Whoa. it. Oh. Nothing changes in her tone as she says that. As if it's just another piece of information to lay out for the world. Well, it can be. What does she mean to get off on it? Well, I don't know. Maybe listen to that, I don't know. Don't worry, the ICP has a separate division that deals exclusively with unlicensed sub -roses. This isn't our problem. Okay. Good luck with that. It's not easy catching those perpetrators. So, did someone here make stuff, stuff with animals? I saw mounts lying around. You mean Mr. Fabron, the taxidermist? No, he mostly just did drugs. But what drugs exactly? Yeah, I need to know what drug he was doing for my police report. Well, it's better to he know. He got high on some weird taxidermy chemicals. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Whoa. Eventually, they caused him to lose control of his bladder. The smell was awful. Ugh. Even you can probably do better than that. Maybe. So I found creepy mannequins here. There used to be a fashion atelier here, but I have forgotten the head designer's name. They were doing well for a couple of years until the insect rights activists came. Okay. Insect rights activists? What's the name of. Mm -hmm. What is the name the of? The atelier produced a certain collection that used chitin among the materials. Apparently, chitin is made in the Occident, where it's extracted from beetle wings. Oh. And you know how all kinds of political movements are big in the Occident. The activists shut down the biggest kiting supplier, which of course caused the price to skyrocket. Maybe this can be helpful for the lady that loses a... Uh, I don't know... His husband. Because uh, insects, maybe? And, naturally, all the most fashionable tastemakers refused to be seen in kiting from then on. Hmm. The atelier went bankrupt before they could finish the collection. Wow, that was bad, but yeah. They did the wrong thing in the wrong place, if you ask me. I'm glad that someone took care of the little guys. I like insects. But insects don't have any brains or feelings. No, I don't think this. They got what they deserved. Making clothes out of a bell wings is a terrible idea. Yeah. At least it had some spark to it. Most young designers just combine lace with leather and call it original. Well, yeah. Mm, but I don't know, just some spark to it. For me, it's a bad idea. As she shifts around, you notice several dead flies on the windowsill in front of her. Ooh. Legs up. They're not moving. Who? Huh. Anything else? I found a strange machine. Fortress accident. The radio game studio. Hmm. She closes her eyes and some remnant of memory lights up her face. They were an interesting bunch. We talked about role-playing systems every now and then. Once, I even saw two of them get into fisticuffs over Wiro. Hmm. They certainly took their work very seriously, even if they seem to be chronically liberal with their schedules. What do you mean, liberal? What happened? The usual. They ran out of money and couldn't get the project done on time. So... I guess uh, we supposed to ride before. What went wrong? Well, I did hear them talking at times. She looks at the hallway as if she can still hear them chit chat behind the car that's on the cigarette break. They seemed to believe they were historical individuals on some grand quest. Hmm. She sounds almost mocking when she says that. Hmm. Well, so. From what I've seen, so far the project did look quite impressive. Yes, but when the money started to run out, they just began to complain a lot about capitalism. You know, mm. how the markets are rigged to keep out new businesses and so on. 
Hmm. In the end, they just didn't get it done. They didn't have enough willpower to produce something truly historic and to show up to work on time. Okay. Showing up to work on time is hard. No, scratch that. Showing up to work at all is difficult. Okay. Especially if you've been drinking. So, well, showing up work on time is incredibly hard. That's too bad. I would have supported them. The project looked great. You're right. They should have just tried harder. They had everything needed to succeed. I don't know. If they, if you don't have money, you don't have money. So I guess number two. That's too bad. I would have supported them. The project looked great. Not the wisest decision. <laughs> you would have lost all your savings. All my savings? Come on. I said that I would support them. I maybe give them something or just a little bit of my money just to appreciate their work i will not give them all my money come on i didn't say that just i said that i will support them with something maybe a little bit of money maybe even some uh, kind words supportive words that's enough i supported them okay i don't say i give them all my money when i say that she tosses a pair of dice on the table. One of them stops near the edge of the metallic desk. The result is one, one. on a 20-sided die. Whoa, what does it mean? The dice is black and filled with little silvery flakes like snowfall. Okay. Anything else? There was a terrifying taxidermy at bear in the cellar. Oh boy, the fabled Rebel Show ICT. You're in for a treat here. Hmm. <laughs> She smiles and leans closer, hands on, a, uh, hands on her knees, like a stand-up comedian ready to tell a story. The place was owned by two guys who had some rather innovative ideas hmm. about marketing. The bear was one of them. Now ask me about their other ideas. Alright. Indeed. What were the other ideas? Yeah. Alright. What about the other ideas? There was really just one. And it involved picking out the prettiest girls in the neighborhood and paying them 20 cents per hour to man the booth. 20 cents? Isn't that... And by right. man the booth, I mean slump behind the counter hmm. with a face that could maim you if you ever dared to disturb their bored magazine browsing. She leans back disapproving. What did they expect? 20 cents per hour is dog's pay. Yeah! I'm surprised they showed up to the work at all. That's an award winning idea. How else do you choose people around you? I don't have an opinion on employing things. I just want to know, did it work for the business? But yeah, that's duck pay. Oh, but they did. They did show up to work and not hmm. alone. Whoa. There were also acne ridden girlfriends and gorilla like boyfriends loitering near the ice cream stand. Alright. And they already had the bear. Hmm. She closed her eyes, if remembering something painful. What's about the bear? The bear. She repeats, pressing thumbs into her temples, like trying to suppress the headache. It didn't work out? Of course not. The bear was terrifying. Oh. No one wants ice cream guarded by a hostile apex predator. To make matters worse, the fridge didn't work too well either, and half the ice cream came out malformed and partially melted. Oh, well. Past the fact that it was terrifying, because you know, it's fake, it's not real, but what? The ice cream came out malformed and partially melted? Ugh. I can, I can see why it not, doesn't work. Okay, the bear is terrifying itself, okay? I did something. But if I go there, and I take the ice cream, the ice cream is shit. What the fuck? I... Why did uh, why I need to pay for a shitty ice cream? Come on. Eventually, Ravishow ICT lost the price war to its rival, Glass A 5000. Glass A 5000 sold caramel sundaes for only 5 cents a piece out of regular fridges. Okay. It's a market doing its job, okay? Hmm. I'm sure the bear was doing its best. <laughs> the bear was scary. Every time I saw the bear, I thought, no, I killed the bear. You did what? <laughs> she rolls his wheel chair and inches the close to you and saw whether she had it right. I had to kill the bear to become the bear. No, I murdered it with my own bare hands. I let it to rest. It's my trophy now. 
I unplugged the fridge to help Ravage High City cut their losses. Ah, of course they left it plugged in. <laughs> Even in death, the bear is costing them money. <laughs> the taxidermist who made it said it was <laughs> his vision beast. He said he met his vision beast while high on desiccants. He called it Megatherian. Alright. Sounds cool. Scary. But cool. Megatherion? Megatherion. A mega wild beast. Wow, what's a mega wild beast? It's an imaginary beast that guides you through life. Wow. By telling you to do more drugs, mostly. Oh, not cool. A wise and noble beast. No. Nope. Guiding you toward the land where the streets are paved with drugs. No. No drugs. Fuck drugs. I don't have a comment on drugs. You shouldn't do them. You're a police officer after all. Let's not comment there. Because I did already too anyway, much. Anyway, now you know the story of the fallen ice cream empire. Whoa. She seems almost sad, finishing the story. Some dust beams swirling in the morning light. Her eyes follow it idly. Outside it's light. Light scatters from the low-hanging cloud cover. There's always the threat of snow. Okay. Anything else? Another I... failed business, perhaps? I've been here for a long time. Hmm. I found the building's intercom. But it's not working. Oh, right. I hope you didn't try to ring me. I think none of those doorbells work, including mine. Hmm. I'm still in the middle of connecting the wires. Sorry about the confusion. All right. The doorbell with the oh, she is doing that. Must belong to her then. All right. So you're telling me that doorbell with the empty na name card is yours? That's right. I oh. haven't even written my name. Wow. Yet. As I said, it's quite useless right now. It doesn't work yet. We still we found so many information here. Wow, that was great. Thank God that I come back. I was wondering about the whirling and rags. Is part of the name of the building complex? I say so. Both houses were built at the same time and under the East Delta Commerce Center project. That explains why you can call the whirling from the intercom. Albeit, I doubt that anyone responds. All right. If the whirling is part of the same building, then it's part of the Doom Commercial Area. The darkness of this place is there too. Mm. I saw a name, his Delta Pinball, on the doorbell. Right, it used to be a gaming arcade. Whoa. This is an ancient failure, before my time. I'm not surprised, however. Everything failed here, what the hell? My advice, don't base your business on a fad. Hypnotism, choreography, trick track, especially pinball. I'm starting to think the city is really doomed. Not this place, the city is really doomed. Come on, everything fails. What, arcade machines? That's cool, arcade machines. Come on. Agree. Pinball is the worst. Why? Pinball is not bad. Come on. A strange thing happened when I tried calling a company named Slipstream SCA. Someone answered. It can't be true. They don't work here anymore. They've been gone for years. Hmm. But someone answered. That's true. Are you sure it was Slipstream SCA? Was it a woman? Maybe it was Play Sans from the bookstore. First it wasn't playing sense. I know her and the wood Oh yes. I know, I remember now. First it wasn't play sense. I know her and I will recognize her oh, voice. Right. But did this person say anything? She said she was from three centennial electrics. Tricentennial electrics? There's a moment before she recognizes the name. It used to be a major electric company 100 years ago. Are you sure it wasn't just some kids playing a prank on you? I think so. No, it was something else. It was eerie. It was too real to be just a prank. Either we're dealing with a professional actress or... Whatever happened, keep your cool. It's probably better to admit that it was a harmless prank. I don't want to say that. I'm not sure. You're right. Probably got just made fun of. 
No, it was something else, something eerie, not real eyes. It, it may have been some sort of rare electrical anomaly. No, let's Thanks do this. Can be eerie. Oh, she looks like she's still convinced it's nothing to be worried oh, about. The kids these days, we were just one of them and now they're terrorizing us. No solidarity. Mm, I don't know if it was a kid, but yeah. I have a few more questions about the building. Sure, I'm listening. I guess. Yes, I have uh, more questions about the intercom. I'm pretty sure it still doesn't work, but sure. What do you want to know? Okay. Sure, I'm listening. Actually, I had other Good. questions. I wow. I clarify things a bit. What, what is this? I have more questions about this building. I'm listening. Wow, I said... Good. I hope it wow. clarified things a bit. So, I want to try what this, else? but... For now, I can't. It's too low. We're gonna come back later, so let's leave now. What's this? Indirect modes of taxation. Oh yeah. So. Turns out those financial oversight committee gangsters stuffed millions of hard-earned dividends away in the last place anyone thought to look: the hearts and minds of everyday River Sholians. You need to spread that deregulation gospel to the people. Tell them about that foreign fear tax. Preach that 98% gross burden. Preach it, preacher man. Set the brothers free. Taxes are racist. All right. Ultra liberal dialogue options give plus one real. Ooh, plus one real. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Ooh. Minus one empathy. All right. But I have plus one real. This is money. This is money. Give me money. Now, let's see this. What I gained. Ooh. These are cool. Eco Sadrial Die Set Sirens. Price. Okay. These two 20 sided dies have the colors of police alarm. Bloodstone for red and lapis lazuli for blue. If you roll them and squint your eyes, it looks like you're arriving at the scene. And it's raining. Note. Look at the map tab in journal to see which white checks have opened. Hmm. White checks? Hmm. Report back to plain sense. No, I don't think it's this. Wow, there's hidden too. Wow, find smokes and smoke them. Sing Carol, get really out of lockdown. Who made the call before? I don't know now. Maybe this. Didn't I do this? I don't know, but I felt, felt like I do this for some reason. But, well, you know, let's save, I guess, here. And uh, yeah, let's save. Let's go. We saved. So let's go to my menu now. And uh, we're going to continue on the next episode. How oh, this was a blast. If you ask me, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And I'm loving this. Fucking amazing. Disco Elysium. Give me that. Give me that. This is cool. By the way, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We we'll see you all in the next video. This was amazing. And it will be even more, I guess. I can't wait to find more about the dead body and uh, what happened. And wow, everything that's happening. Okay? Bye!